Welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining the process of object oriented development. Right? I am going to explain different steps that is related to the development. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Please don't forget to like the video. Please don't forget to share the video with your friends. And to get the notification of my new videos, please click the bell icon. So let me begin the explanation of object oriented development. So development refers to the software life cycle. You know that if you want to develop a software, you can't develop a software at a shot, right? You need a proper planning, you need a proper process. So that process of developing a software, right, is nothing but a software development life cycle, right? So this life cycle contains uh, several steps as uh, such as analysis, design and implementation, right? I'm going to discuss the steps of analysis, design and implementation in detail, right? And one more important thing in object oriented development, I'm stressing the point object oriented development. So in object oriented development, right, uh, we need to concentrate more on identification and organization of application concepts rather than their final representation in a programming language. That means, uh, you, right, before developing the software, I need to concentrate more on, right, uh, more on the organization. Organization means I need to, uh, right, collect various requirements first, right, I need to convert my requirements into diagrammatic form, once I understood my application in a more better way, then I have to move to the source code part. That is, I have to develop the software using any one of the programming language. I need to concentrate more on these things, analysis, design here, rather than the implementation. Once my design is perfect, once my analysis is perfect, once my requirement collection is perfect, then I, it will be easy for me to implement. The, implement means then it's easy for me to write the program of my software getting guys right here this uh, designing analysis or uh, all these process uh, steps all these steps are independent of programming languages what i am trying to say is once your analysis is ready once your design is ready you can develop uh, your software using any one of the programming language once the design is ready you can develop your software using c language or C++ or C sharp you can take any language to develop the program the design process is completely independent of your uh, the program getting guys right it is a design technique object oriented approach is like a designing technique rather than the programming technique Right. Once the design is ready, you can develop your program using any one of the programming language. It is possible. Right. I am going to concentrate more on this design part rather than the programming part. Right. Getting guys. Either I can develop my program using a Java also. I can develop my uh, program using a C Sharp also. Dot .NET also. It is possible. Right? Next, what are the steps in development of software using an object oriented approach? The first step is system conception. Right? This is the first step. Here, software development begins with the business analysis or using conceiving an application and formulating tentative requirements. In simple words, system conception means I need to collect the requirements of my software. I need to, requirements means, what are the tasks that a software should do, that our application should do. I need to collect my requirements. Suppose if I am developing a, a railway ticket reservation system, my software should co contain a requirement for creating a customer account, for uh, booking a ticket, for cancelling a ticket, like that. In the first step, in a system conception, I need to collect the requirements of my software. This is the first step. In SDLC, while developing the waterfall model, also I told you, there the system conception is called as uh, requirement collection. 
there also the same thing applies right i need to collect my requirements next what is the second step analysis here the analyst will scrutinizes and rigorously restates the requirements from the system conception by constructing the models that means analysis means in a simple words customer can tell thousands requirements but practically right you can't implement all the thousand requirements right you need to do the proper analysis you need to check whether the requirement requirement can be implemented or not right you have to do the analysis you have to select the import uh, important requirements you have to select the requirements based on the priority right once the requirements are analyzed right then you can move to the next step so that's why the analysis model is a concise precise abstraction of what the desired system must do and not how it will be done that means the analysis model will contains the correct perfect requirements right correct requirements only the important precise perfect requirements will be there in this will be the output of this step analysis step here you are going to concentrate more on the designing thing not on the programming part getting guys so once the analysis is done and one more important thing in analysis uh, process i can uh, right uh, come across two models here domain model and a application model right so i will take up the example in the last part of this video then you will understand this in a more better way so domain model means a description of real world object reflected within the system for example uh, assume that you are developing a uh, stock stock related application share market related application in that share market related application uh, my domain model contains real world objects right for example in that uh, share related stock application domain objects may include stock bond trade commission all these things are related to real world because you are developing a uh, application software application that is related to the real world yes you know that right yeah, if you develop if you are developing a software that should uh, help the customers right that's why so domain model concentrate more on this uh, real real world objects next application model so application model means it's a description of parts of the application system itself for example if you are developing a stock related application right so that stock related application may contain different different components stock related application may contain authentication component that means uh, if your customer wants to log in you need to give a proper username and password that is the application related concept right next uh, user should be able to create the stock able should be able to delete the stock able should, uh, user should be able to right uh, calculate the commission a yeah, user should be able to calculate the trend of the stock all these things are related to the application the application model contains uh, such details for example application objects in a stock might control uh, for example application objects means uh, right this object stock bond might control the execution of trades and present the results this is a application related thing what it does what you what your software should does it should control the execution of trades and it should present the results so execution of trades and presenting the results are the part of the application or the software hope you are understanding first you need to concentrate on the real world objects that are related to your software next you have to concentrate on the internal things that are related to your software getting guys you have to concentrate on both these things while doing the analysis right i will take the example so th then you will understand in a more better way suppose if you have any doubt please post your doubts in the comment section next next phase is design right so requirement collection is over analysis is over next phase is design so here in design the development team devise a high level strategy that means in simple words 
they will convert your requirements in the form of diagrams that means they will develop the overall system architecture of your software right along with that along with uh, developing the architecture the system designer should decide what performance characteristics to optimize right they he has to choose a strategy of attacking the problem and make tentative resource allocations right after developing the architecture the design engineer should also the developer should also right uh, decide about the resource allocations because as a, if you are developing a software you need to use a memory you need to use a cpu all these things right he has to calculate these things also he has to develop a strategy of uh, attacking the problem strategy means he has to decide uh, how what are the data structures right uh, they need uh, they may use array they may use right uh, queue like that these things they has to decide while designing not only the, the, the not only the architecture not only the diagram along with that they need to decide about the data structure they are going to use whether they are use, going to use the array to develop the software queue linked list like that right so this is the uh, third step first requirement is collected then he, you did the analysis then your requirement is converted into the diagrammatic forms for example class diagram state diagram use case diagram sequence diagram data flow diagram flow chart like that getting guys so right why you need this diagrams because when you convert your requirement to diagrammatic form you can easily understand the data flow between your components right it will be easy for you to develop the software based on the components based on the modules hope you are understanding each component can be con considered as a module railway ticket in a, for example in a railway ticket reservation system booking ticket is one module cancelling the ticket is one module viewing the customer information is one module like that when you integrate all the modules you will get the whole software so what is the class design the class designer adds details of details to the analysis model in accordance with the system design strategy i already told you along with the data structure in class design they will concentrate on algorithms also uh, they will concentrate how to write the algorithm right why you need the algorithm algorithm is a step by step procedure to solve the problem so if you write the algorithm for your problem you can easily understand the steps and it will be you can easily divide your task into simple simple steps then it will be easy for you to develop the software hope you are getting guys right next last part your requirement is collected analysis is done now you have the diagrams sequence diagram use case diagram class diagram you have to take these diagrams then you have to start developing your actual program you have to start developing the actual software source code so that is taken care by implementation phase the developers the implementers translate the diagrams that is class diagram sequence diagram and the relationship right into particular programming language right whatever the diagrams whatever the models that are developed using the system design and the class design that will be converted into any one of the programming format they can use uh, right programming language and they can start writing the program to develop the software right uh, during the implementation they has to follow a good right good software engineering practice that means uh, right they has to select the proper right programming constructs right they has to choose the right efficient way to develop the software right you can write a program same program can be written in 1000 lines also same program can be written in 100 lines also right which program will be selected 1000 line program or 100 line program 100 lines program will be selected not a 1000 lines program you need to optimize your uh, program properly it is a good practice you need to optimize your program right for uh, efficiency getting guys so this is the example 
so see here uh, assume that i am developing the bank software so my requirement document contains the requirements so what are the requirements of requirements of the bank software here create account requirement delete account requirement add customer requirement delete customer requirement so in this first step in the system conception i am going to collect the requirements in the second step i am going to do the analysis in the analysis i have two types of models domain model and the application model as you know domain model contains the real world object if i say a bank software what are the real world objects related to the bank software D account customer these are the real world object so domain model contains these type of real world objects next application model contains uh, the concepts related to your application that is your bank software for example user should create an account user should be able to delete an account these are the concepts that are related to your application so application model contains this type of information so you have to do the proper analysis with respect to real world object with respect to application objects once the analysis is done once you are satisfied with your analysis you can create the design that means you have to convert your requirements into the diagrammatic format you can see there so create feature delete feature add feature all these uh, features are uh, converted into diagrammatic format here uh, the, it is a simple example because uh, i can't add the more complicated diagrams here so far you should understand that Uh, this uh, design phase contains different different diagrams for the uh, right uh, for the software overall architecture right along with the overall architecture all the different different types of diagrams will be constructed in this design phase once the design phase is uh, completed you can implement implementation takes place implementation takes place means you can develop a separate separate programs for separate separate modules when you integrate separate separate programs you will get the whole software so finally your software will be ready right right uh, you are going to develop your software by choosing any one of the programming language hopefully if it is object oriented design means you are choosing a java because java is a object oriented programming language getting guys right so this is the example so that's it guys i uh, hope you understood the concepts suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section thank you thank you for watching the video